Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Jack here from Forest Fan JR, and welcome to a, another episode of the 2016 17 predictions. I was about to say FIFA 17 predictions then. Um, yeah, I just want to quickly before I get into the predictions, I didn't predict West Ham against Bur 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 West Ham against Bournemouth because. I well I don't know it just slipped through so yeah I, I I predicted West Ham would win that one two one anyway and I was incorrect uh, they uh, lost three two I mean Burnley actually uh, sorry Bournemouth actually they missed one penalty courtesy of Joshua King and Benica Fobe had another penalty saved so <laughs> credit where credit's due they they beat them they beat them. Um, to beat West Ham after losing two, well, con not scoring two penalties, which, which is fantastic, uh, for Bournemouth, brilliant con confidence boost. Everton and West Brom predicted to be torn to Everton. It was three 0 to Everton, and Liverpool and Burnley I predicted to be two 0 to Liverpool, and it was two one to Liverpool. So, we got back to a full, full week's predictions now. West Brom and Arsenal. I'm going to predict that to be two 0 to Arsenal. I just think that uh. Arsenal play fantastically against Lincoln. I like that game. And okay, it's only Lincoln who are like top of the National League. But they, they really turn on the star. I think that they'll have confidence within their players like Mesut Ozil. Had a, he, was a, he showed his class out there. And, you know, he's, he's deserving of that price tag that, you know, people are saying he's worth. But. It's only in the games that don't really matter. I know it's a quarter final of the FA Cup, and that matters. But, but it's not like it's a against a big side, which you know could be. I can imagine how infuriating that's going to be for Arsenal fans. Palace and Watford. I'm going to say one 0 Sorry about that. Uh, both evenly matched sides. You know, I I, I think that they will uh, breeze. Pro well, breeze, what am I talking about? I think that they will uh, draw one all in that game. Everton and Hull, I'm going to predict Everton to win that one 2-0. Hull, Hull do have Omar Niassi. Yeah, Hull do have Omar Niassi, formerly of Everton. I think he's on loan from Everton, so he won't be able to play in that game. He done, he's really helped Hull, but not being able to play in that game, I think that will contribute to them not scoring, and I think that Everton will win in that game. Stoke and Chelsea, I'm going to say Chelsea are going to win 3-0. I think they were, just, uh, they were superb against Manchester United. I think they're just a class above Stoke. Sunderland and Burnley, I'm going to predict one all. Burnley have a terrible away form. I think they've only picked up two points away from home this whole season. I think they'll make that three points uh, in total against Sunderland. West Brom and Leicester, I'm going to say Leicester to win that one. Uh, West Ham and Leicester, sorry. I'm going to say um, Leicester are going to win one nil away at the King Power. Uh, it infuriates me because I I think I think that Craig Shakespeare. I don't know if it's him who's improved Leicester, but I think it's just because he's come in, and Claudio Ranieri's gone, that they've just thought, well, it, well Ranieri's gone. We better perform now. You know I feel so sorry for the Italian manager. He was such a good manager and he did fantastic things with Leicester and then they stabbed him in the back like that. It's, it's dreadful. Uh, Bournemouth and Swansea. I took a little bit of time thinking of this one, but I think Bournemouth coming off the back of a of a brilliant win against West Ham. Swansea coming off the loss against who I think that that would just be, you know, logical to predict Bournemouth to win that game. Uh, Middlesbrough and Manchester United. I'm going to say two 0 to Manchester United. I think, I think that the Middlesbrough are going to be in for a relegation struggle. They've got they've just recently sacked Aitor Karanka, and I think that they'll they'll really struggle in that game. Tottenham and Southampton. I'm going to say Tottenham to Southampton one. Uh, that was also a game I was a bit struggling with, and I think that they will uh, they will be able to just slightly beat Southampton. They don't have Harry Kane now, so they don't have him to rely on. So they could really struggle at this point into the end of the season. Um, Manchester City and Liverpool. Now this one I was actually struggling with so much I had to ask my dad for some help. 
like Man City absolutely bottling it the other day against Monaco. They were absolutely dreadful. And they deserve to lose. And then Liverpool, they're okay. But I, I think that they'll win 2 1 against Man City away. I know it's away and it's, it might sound a bit of a weird result, but. But if Man City play like they did against Monaco, then, then anyone can beat them, to be honest. They were dreadful. So, yeah, uh, that does wrap up this prediction video. Sorry it was a bit short, but, you know, there wasn't many things to talk about from last week. Um, so, yeah, and also, if I'm being a bit quick, it's because I've not really got too long to, to get this video done by. Um, so, yeah, um, we should be back to a full, full episode next week. So yeah, if you did enjoy, remember to like this video, subscribe if you do enjoy what you're seeing around here. Our Twitter will be down below in the description along with a series playlist. Put your comments down below what you think the prediction for the week next week's game is going to be if you if you want to. If you don't, that's completely fine. Uh, if you, um, yeah, as I said, if you want to check out the other episodes, check that playlist in the description. We also recently did a... Like a kind of like a mini podcast thing called Five Fan JR Uncut that'll be uh, on the channel recently uploaded. So if you want to check that out, uh, that'll be um, fantastic. So as I did say, like if you did enjoy this video, subscribe if you're new around here, and goodbye. See ya.